hit that baseball into the window? Hello, it's me. How are you, David? We have something for you. <laughs> Hello, you just broke the school window. How can you act so calmly now? Oh, it's not a big deal anyway. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, look at these gifts. For, for you. you. <gasps> hey, I'm not going to fall into your trap. What happened here? Who broke the school window? That wasn't me, sir. Leo and Kara broke the window. Hey, what are you talking about? Don't slander us. Sir, as you can see, he's holding a basketball bat. So he's the guilty one, of course. Hey, you both gave these things to me. Enough, all of you stop it. Come to my office right now. I'll deal with this. Sir, I think you should check this out. You want to come to my office? Remember this, Adele. This is not over yet. Are you okay? I'm okay, boy. Thank you for helping me. It's okay, David, aren't we friends? By the way, will you join the camping? 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 I, haven't I haven't heard, heard of, of that. that. Is that so? Our school is going to organize a camping trip in the forest. Will you join? Yeah, sure, I think I will join. Great. <laughs> What is this? A letter from Adele. You are a terrible boy that no one would like to befriend. I won't join the school camping anymore. And whenever you see me, stay as far as you can. I hate you, David, and I hope you'll get lost forever in the forest. Farewell. I can't believe it. Fine, then I don't need you anymore. I hate you too, Adele. Should we bring helmets? Nani? Helmets protect the brain. I bet you don't need them. <laughs> hey, look who's here. Where is your friend, David? Shut up. Don't ask me about him. What happened to that boy? You had to ask. He has no friends now. Get on the bus. Otherwise, we'll be late. What are they trying to do? Later. All right, students, follow me. I'll take everyone on the look around the forest. Stick together if you don't want to get lost. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. teacher. Follow me. Students, let's go up the mountain. Hey, Leo, do it. All right, all right. Hey, what just happened? Heard David scream. No, sir, that wasn't David. That was me. I saw a water snake crawling over my feet. <laughs> Please go first, teacher. We will follow you soon. Give me a few seconds to tie up my shoes. How annoying, hurry up. Hey, I think our prank was a little too much on David. Will he be all right? Don't worry about that. At most, he just twisted his leg. He can find a way to come back to the camp. 
That's right, boo. Let's follow our teacher. Let's go. OMG, what just happened? My head, hurt. Oh no, where am I? I guess I'm lost. I need to find a way to get back to the camp. This is not good, I'm hopeless. Follow my voice, boy, I can get you out of this place. Oh my god, what is that? Is someone calling me? What is that glowing thing? Open it out. Open it out and release me from this magic lamp. I will grant you whatever wishes you want. Well, that's just creepy. But also tempting. Should I open it out? Or shouldn't I open it out? Yes, I should. What the hell? Hello, David. I am the genie. How can the genie speak? Are you a ghost? No, I'm not a ghost. I'm a supernatural being. But my soul is trapped in this magic lamp. To show my gratitude, I'll be your defender. And I will fulfill all of your wishes. What, really? Of course, David. What do you want me to do? First, get me back to my school's camp. All right. Pick me up and follow my lead, boy. Hey, I think you should throw that magic lamp away. But why? I don't want to be trapped in that cursed magic lamp again. Does that make sense to you? Surprise, motherfucker! Yeah, now fly and find the camp. Don't worry. Those wings will disappear when they are out of use for you. Okie okay, okie, okay, let's go. Hey, I feel a little nervous. David is not back yet. Why bother? You don't like her anyway. I know, but I don't want him to be injured or worse. I just wanted to prank him. I hope he'll survive. If something happens to her, we can't avoid trouble. Perhaps separating David and Adele's friendship was enough. What? Where is he? Teddy, where are you? <laughs> well, well, we know where Teddy is, but we won't tell you. Yeah, we abducted him. <laughs> where are you keeping him? Remember when you reported us to the school's supervisor? This is how we take revenge on you. You? I'll tear you apart. Hey, don't use violence. That's not cool, you know? Alright, do you want to save that stupid chameleon? What on earth do you want me to do? Stop befriending David. Write him a letter with bad words to make him sad. What the dog doing? Can you sacrifice your friendship to save your pet? I have no choice now. I'll explain to David later. Fine, I'll do it. We are quite evil, aren't we? That's right. And I hope you're ready to take your punishment. What, what on, on earth, earth is, is going, going on? on? I heard the whole thing. What are you going to do to us? He will do nothing to you, but I will. Did that blue monster just talk to us? I think so. Oh no. Oh no, what did you do to us? That's not all. How hilarious. This is not funny at all. I got a pizza here. Here you are, boy. What are you doing here? 
Please go away. Calm down, Adele. I know the whole thing. Leo and Kara forced you to do that, right? Yeah, but how did you know? It doesn't matter, boy. Now what? Aren't you going to say something to me? Yeah, I want to say sorry, David. That was my only choice. They would harm Teddy if I didn't listen to them. I'm sorry, David. Can we make peace and be friends again? Naive, boy, of course. We can and I forgive you. Hey, lovebirds, can you stop flirting? I can't listen to it. Genie. Wait a minute, who are you? It's me, boy. Wow, what is this thing? A ghost? Ha! Huh? Don't worry, David. He's the genie. He has magic. That's right. Oh, how interesting. How did you find him? Kara and Leo played a prank on me and got me lost in the woods. And I found Genie while trying to get back to the school camp. Genie is so friendly and he can grant me whatever wishes I want. Oh, I see. Hello, Genie. My name is Adele. Yeah, I know you. All right, come to my house. We shall play games together. Yeah, boy! OMG, it seems like you have no game playing devices. Then how are we going to play? I think you forgot what I'm capable of. Look at this. Wow. Thank you, the genie. Playing this game is a lot more interesting than I imagined. Yeah, I think I like you. I'm just kidding. Does this mean Adele doesn't like me? He's not gay. Oh shit. It's too late. I need to go home. My mom's gonna go crazy. See you at school tomorrow. Okay, bye. The next morning. All right, students, get yourselves ready. You're gonna do the exam soon. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Good luck. Yeah. Oh, no, I totally forgot about this exam. Adele, did you know anything about this? Nope. I forgot about this too. How am I supposed to do now? Don't worry. David, have you forgotten me? I can handle that. That's right. The genie, help me and Adele with this exam. No problem. David, Adele, be quiet. Oh, I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> this house is too old for me to be here. Hmm, what should I do? Ha ha ha, I'll change everything. The genie, can you turn my house into a fancy mansion? Of course, I can. I want it, I got it. I want it, I got it, I want it, I got it. I want a car for my dad. Very well. Thank you, the genie, you are the best. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, this car is beautiful. Your family's. Yes, I was going to ask you out. Okay, I'm in the mood for that too. The genie, let's go. Actually, I would like to talk with only you for a while. Do you mind? Um, what's the matter? It's okay, David. Just go. Yeah, I come back soon. What's the matter, boy? You looked tense. I just want to warn you not to always depend on the genie's powers. It might bring you trouble one day. What? Why would you say that? The genie looks suspicious. He reminds me of a ghost that was accidentally released. It will grant the wishes of the person who released it, but in the end, it will harm them. Are you obsessed with horror movies? No, it's not that. But I think you should be careful. That's enough, stop talking. I don't want to talk with you anymore. You are such a talkative boy. Hey, wait. Bruh. What's the matter, David? You don't look very well. I just argued with Adele. He spoke ill of you. What did he say? He said that you were very suspicious. 
and I shouldn't depend on you all the time. Oh, don't worry, David. That's not even a small problem. You can depend on me forever, David. My mission is to grant you whatever wishes you want. I hope you both will make peace soon. <laughs> Two weeks later. Adele is missing? What do you mean by that? Yeah. He has been missing for almost two weeks. That's all I can tell you, girl. Why can you talk so calmly? Who cares about him anyway? My husband and I don't want him. He can leave here forever if he wants to. Bye-bye, girl. How rude she was. Bruh. The genie, I need your help. What? Can you help me find Adele? He is missing, and it's been almost two weeks. Who cares about that idiot anyway? What? Why would you speak such words about him? The genie, I command you to return your words and help me find him. Shut up. Who on earth are you to command me? I will make it so you can't walk anymore. What did you do to me? That fool, Adele, was a lot more troubling than I thought. I was meant to get rid of him, but he disappeared by himself. That saved me a lot of effort. What? What do you mean by that? Well, this plan of mine is going to be succeeded soon, so I will reveal one truth to you. I am a cursed genie. I have caused many disasters and disturbed many people in the past. What did you do? I fulfilled their tiny and petty wishes, then I took their souls. That's why my creator sealed me in that stupid magic lamp. Fortunately, you unsealed me. And now you will replace me, David. I will take your soul and become a human. With my powers, I will screw this world up. <laughs> the genie, you psycho, you re not become a human. You can't go back to normal. I don't think so. What? Oh no. Oh no. Hey, get me out. Get me out of this place. Adele, help. Help me. My limbs can't move. The genie, break the curse. Otherwise, you'll be trapped in this magic lamp forever. Huh, I'll never do that. Okay, then I think I will destroy this magic lamp with you inside. Maybe that's the only way to stop you from doing evil things. Hey, 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 don't do that to me. Then turn David back into normal. Okay, I'm doing it. Oh, I'm back to normal. David, what should we do now? Should we spare the genie? No, he is too dangerous. He must be destroyed for good. Otherwise, someone else will be harmed by him. I agree with you. Hey, you cannot do that. Don't you dare to break your words? Hey, I have an idea. There is thunder outside and lightning bolts are hitting the ground. We can use the lightning bolts to destroy this magic lamp. Good idea, Adele. No please don't do that. Thank you for saving me, Adele. But how did you find out? Well, I watched a lot of horror movies. I think all evil creatures have enemies or vessels to keep them in. So I went to the forest where our school camped and dug the whole place up. This magic lamp is the only thing that can overpower the evil genie. The only way to get rid of the genie is to trap him back in this magic lamp and destroy it with him inside. That's all that happened. I got suspicious when the genie told me to throw the magic lamp away. But I was careless. Well, I guess watching a lot of movies brings benefits as well. Yeah, you are such a clever boy. Thank you for giving me compliments. Can I ask you for something? Okay, what is that? I have a crush on you, will you love me? Well, this is worth considering. 